Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting day. Today, we're playing a game called, well, hmm, I don't, I don't remember the title, so we're just gonna have to figure it out. This is a puzzle game where you use light and colors to make your way through. It is a horror game, because what else would I play? I ignore, you know, Darkestville Castle, uh, Persona 4. Sure, there's other examples somewhere on my channel. I, those two are just the ones I remember off the top of my head. Uh. Hello? Anyone here? Me. I'm here. A mansion? But how... How? The question is why. Unless you remember. I don't remember. This is actually... This is actually so annoying. What is even going on? How long have I been out here? I need to find shelter. Or else I'll freeze to death. I always love video game lighters because they never function the same way a lighter does. You know, I realize I have no proof of that, but then I remember it's also, like, broad daylight for me, personally. I can't test that, even if I wanted to. No, no, I can, I can. Hold on, not, hold on. Alright, I regret to inform everybody. Um... I tested this in the only part of the house that doesn't have a window. Uh, it does, in fact, work exactly like this. Now, why in the fuck the guy would have this so close to his eye is beyond me. Especially because, you know, this, like, almost glare effect... Also, just the fact that it's an open fucking flame. Why are you putting it next to your eyeball? Where am I going? If I take too long in the woods, is it going to kill me? I literally cannot see ahead of me right now because of how oh my god god please somebody give me an actual flashlight and not this lighter that place it's the same building from the photograph Maybe someone there can help me. Light both candles to open. Press E to light candle with lantern. Okay. So there's a big old light right there. And my instincts as a player says, go to the light, but there is also... No, it's gone now. Interesting. 
There, I thought there was a light over there. I might be crazy. What's this? Old Q. Oh. It is so hard to see with that one. Hmm? Right, it wasn't just me, right? Th this area was glowing. Right? Do I have to hover over the doorknob or no? All right, not even a reaction about the door being locked. That's great. Is there a what? Nope, there are no options. So if I stand over here. Yeah, look at that. What the fuck? That's so weird. There's something blue over here. Part of me wonders how, uh... Oh, hey. I can't tell if that's meant to be there, or... <laughs> Alright, so we have the blue crystal. I guess it wants us to... ...be blue. Oh! Man, I was I was being a moron. I should have paid closer attention. So blue finds footprints. Got it. It finds footprints, but it is very hard to see with. Or my screen is not tuned properly for this game. Keep going. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Whoop, the game lagged a little there. Okay, cool. So I actually hate how they have a painting right here, like a strong gust of wind the wrong direction. There's going to be going to be wet on that uh, on that painting. I do really like how the painting um, how the painting tells you with like cat Whoa. eyes. What a mess. Okay. So the door closed behind me. So it looks like our color wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven colors and a lighter. I have to click it. 
Oh, the lighter is not nearly as bad now. Click. But this is brighter and puts everything into an orange glow. So how does this look inside? Click it! I'm yelling at me. Oh, this isn't nearly as awful. Interesting. I don't know what that means. But I'm glad we found it. Can I play this with controller? I cannot. Damn. So I think what we are going to do for... Oh, right there. Aw. I didn't even realize the door was locked. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to walk around every room, give it the once over with orange, and then a twice over with blue. To my now... Bloody hell. Bloody hell what? To my knowledge, there's no enemy in this game. Just puzzles and spooky. Invoice of goods provided by Zoology Africa Incorporated. Zoology Africa Incorporated. Excuse me? This is a confirmation of acquisition of goods delivered by Zoology Africa Incorporated. In case you didn't figure it out the first time, that this is Zoology Africa Incorporated. The receiver, William Rosenberg, hereby confirms the delivery of the following goods. Four medium metal cages. Five small metal cages. Ten African rats. Four adult female chimpanzees date of delivery may 26 1906 signed sender zoology africa incorporated for the fourth time sendy william rosenberg not really the fourth time is that they can't be real right they can't they can't be real right zoology africa in corp no no it is not real shame get, get out of here oh i see Oh, that's creepy. I like that. Okay, so we need orange here, green there, and blue there. So let's grab our blue and... No. Looks like we need a spoon or something for there. All right, so let's give this the ones over. I am literally so confused. Blue. Okay, so footprints go this way. Now, if I recall, we should be following the footprints. But like hell. 
with me you're late for supper again I'm so sorry love workers got me staying overtime at the lab again William my name was William what the hell is happening here why couldn't I remember who I was and now in God's name did I forget about my dearest mother what's wrong with me I have a feeling I'm not in the right mood for whatever nonsense is about to happen. That being said... I wish there were more lights in here. Oh, that freaked me out. Strife, what do you do this puzzle? Okay. Ah! You, you got it right. What are you screaming about? I don't know. I'm just surprised by noise. Oh, okay. Diploma for Major Achievements in Scientific Fields, 1896. Issued by British Association for Advancement of Science. Due to extensive research and advancements in the fields of applied alchemy. Oh, crap. The British Association for Advancement of Science wishes to award William Rosenberg for his contribution to the development of alchemical studies. Money prize, 20,000 guinea pigs. Or is that pounds? I don't remember. Get out of here. So the footprints led us over here. Oh, they led us here. Interesting. Okay. Of course, the light switch don't work. Well, of course it don't work. There's no fucking lights here, Jimmy. You can't. You can't. What? Hold on. Isn't that the room right there? Is something supposed to be missing? Or do I need another... Do I need another color to figure that out? Alright, so... There was noise up, like, directly up there. I still need a green. But... I have a heart. I have a heart-shaped object. Can I light these candles? What do you mean I can't light these candles? They're candles and they're here. Motherfucker. Heaven forbid you award a player for traveling. Come on. Just no lights. Oh, is this for the peony downstairs? Red. Ooh, hold on. That's neat. I don't have a red. I have an orange. 
orange, red, green. Actually, take a gander at this. Holy shit. Beautiful. Wish I had that in my house. Why you gotta look so evil? Alright, we need a little horsey. Looks like we can go through that door, but I want to get the full walk around. Can we open this door? This should... What was that? Hmm. That smells like plot, so we're not going to do that. We're going to try and not open this door. Mm -mm -mm. Don't open that one. That one goes outside and we'll get rained on. Rain is bad for us. We'll melt. That's probably not true. This door is also fake. Alright. Pretty linear map so far. How the fuck are you walking? What is this? Do you have a limp? Green again. I've noticed a lot of paintings are green, actually. That's where the heart-shaped object goes. What the fuck is this? It's just an abyss. God, I hate looking for clues with the blue. Green. Apologies, Mr. Rosenberg. We searched the house, but couldn't find any tracks of our murderer. Then look, Hardu. I'm sorry, Margaret. I'm so, so sorry this had to happen to you. Sir, this wasn't your fault. We'll keep looking, and I promise you we'll have our killer before autumn. Before autumn? Which autumn? Don't know. Don't remember. Not picking that up. That face is going to give me nightmares. Absolutely. Date! September 21st, 1906. The tragedy which befell at the Rosenberg's mansion July 21st remains a mystery to this day. The elusive murderer of William Rosenberg's wife... Margareth Rosenberg has not been found by the police. Nearly two months after the incident, the local police stated that they will begin to withdraw from the investigation, but will remain vigilant if the rest is burnt off. Alright. Interesting. Remember to keep the bedroom clean. All other notes and research papers have been moved to the library downstairs. So... This is my handwriting. Can I open this door? I 
All right, so now that I have green, I can open that one section, yeah? Yeah, so... Why? Uh... Green... Green fire ain't bright enough. Like, if it was a flashlight, which we don't have, that'd be gold we'd be gold but oh the ferrets turned cuter hey is anyone there interesting so green fucks with paintings Oh, green fucks with paintings, yeah? What accent was that? Why'd I do that? Green fucks with paintings, right? So that means if we go... Back downstairs into the one room, we should be able to discover something. Hmm. Hmm. Can't tell if that's foreshadowing or not. Okay, that was already creepy. You didn't... You... All right, that's still a sick ass painting. How's that creepy? That's awesome. Look at that. Guys, wouldn't you too want that on your wall? Whoops. I actually prefer it to that. Prefer it. Ooh. So it goes from ominous to ominous. What a... That one scared me. So when the green is out, it doesn't even have to be lighting it. Ugh. I don't know why, but all of that bothers me. Eyeball. Alien creature in a door. See, the eyeball at least brings that piece together. This... This is beautiful. Ah, yes. Spooky. A bedsheet ghost. Wait! Oh, that's dumb. I love it. That is unchanging. Hold on, let me just, um... Oh! Neat, 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 neat. Damn it! Okay, so we have three doors we currently can't go through. And something spooky is moving around the house. 
1906 is when wife died, yes? And this was May 26, 1906. So he started experimenting with alchemy, presumably to bring his wife back. Let's grab that and then... Oh, that's funny. I love how if you stand perfectly still, its eyes just bore into your soul. <laughs> I like how this picture is basically unchanged. Still creepy as all hell. So we got... Oh, we got... The hourglass. Got it. The looking glass. Not the hourglass. What am I, stupid? Don't answer that. Still here? Why don't you take a break? You've been free eating all day. Because it's only been like 30 minutes. Did you at least find what you were looking for? No. Possibly. It's at least worth the shot. I'll be downstairs if you need me. So give it the once over with orange. So I actually have my fucking bearings. Oh, this is okay, cool. So this is the horrid abyss. Like, why is it extra dark over here? Despite the candle. Hold on, I just gotta point out, that's a hand right there, and right there. Very unsubtle hints about raising the dead, I feel. Um, all these pictures have with them, um, secrets that I should be unlocking. But we're going to give it a once over with blue. Actually, we're going to read this note first. Torn page from a book titled Research and Methodology on Usage of Abortification... Abortificants... What? See... How is this word supposed to be pronounced? Like, ancient is right there. Abortificants? Chints? Abortifacients. In ancient Greece. Interesting. Anyway. Of the earliest uses of... Fuck off. Have been documented to be utilized during the Greco-Roman world period, thanks to the Greek philosopher Plato in his book, uh, Theatus. Quiet down. We gain a glimpse into the realm of possibilities with these simple and primitive methods. It is speculated that the that the now extinct herb called Silphium could possess uh, properties. However, the possibilities of side effects remain a mystery to... Okay. Cool. God... All right, so I think this is doing something that I absolutely hate in, um, when it comes to doing lighting. It feel, it actively feels like this corner here is, has like a dialed down tone that is directly contrasting the rest of the light. 
So like how we can kind of see over there, but the minute we look over here, everything kind of turns black quickly. But over there, look like we can see the wall over there. It's like practically fine until we do like this. So this is definitely just tricking our brains into making it darker. All right, and without further ado, I guess we have to. All right, so nine. Huh. I did not. Well, oh, wait, that's the chick from um one of the other paintings, isn't it? What? So this, uh, she must represent something important. Eight. Nine, eight. And then is there a number here? Oh, there is. Two. Four Z. So nine, eight. So nine, two, eight. Is our clue. Nine, two, eight. Nine, two, eight. I've not seen. Oops. Nine, two, eight. I'm actually confused. Red. Um. I'm actually confused about, um... Any of this? Like, I didn't get new information. Oh, hello. Nine, two, nope, eight. That scared me. That actually scared me. Remember to pick up lithium from the basement, but only go down to the laboratory if necessary. A what? hidden basement laboratory. Seems like I have no choice but to look for it. Should be somewhere in the living room. Yo! So... I'm starting to think there's no way in hell this game can afford to have an enemy. Like a prime and proper enemy. God, I hate these keys. Mainly because there's not a whole lot of places you can hide. And with the good game designed on Nobody light told you to drop it william no there's no way of knowing what these experiments could lead to in the future did you even test it beforehand of course i did my dear multiple times just for you just for you Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. There are rats. 
and there's a painting where there was some dark creature. Oh, and there's crosses everywhere. I may have spoken too soon about the anime. Test subject R04, date June 14th, 1906. Result, minor success. Notes, after exposing the subject to potion S6, it started showing mild signs of seizures as soon as four hours after ingestion. Five hours later, R04 has died from internal organ rupture. The autopsy revealed parts of the liquid remained undigested. However, the plant prototype, uh, Sylphium, has been successfully digested, categorizing the experiment as mild success. Conclusion. Problems with digestion of the po potion's compound. Introduction of vitamin B could help with the process. Test subject R05. Date, June 21st, 1906. Results, catastrophic failure. Notes, exposing subject to potion S7 looked promising at first. Adding folic acid to help the digestion seemed to help with the initial intake of co the concoction. After checking on RO5 after 24 hours, it has seemed to be having trouble breathing and sweating. After 20... Sweating? Rats don't sweat. Do they? Anyway. After 26 hours, RO5 was presumed dead. Autopsy showed heart failure, likely due to the anaparaxis reaction. Conclusion? Current ingredients cannot coexist in the current, f current formula. Back to the drawing board. Bruh. Oh, hey, can I drink this? Nope. Oh, man, I do not want to know what red gives me. <gasps> A floating thing! I'm so happy. So we need the horsey... We need the horsey for... Upstairs and down here. Okay. And I think that's... The only door left? So we're gonna have red oil soon, which means we have three more color slots. What? What am I supposed to do with red? Oh, I'm not. What is... Go back into your painting. No! Go back into your painting!
Oh, interesting. Okay. Seriously, did not need the demon eyes for that. So this is the last door, yes? Switch to red. This is just a bedroom. Maybe. Oh, there's bottles here. This is a problem. April 13th, 1906 from Dr. Harris to Miss Rosenberg. I hope this letter finds you well. The results of our latest examination due to your recent discomfort and abdomen aches seems to prove our recent concerns regarding the state of your pregnancy. We are saddened to inform you that due to the complications of the fetus's development, further surgeries are impossible up until the point of birth. We feel confident in our ability to deliver the little girl safely on set schedule. However, the procedure has a high chance of proving lethal to the bearer. We will continue to monitor the situation and urge you to visit as soon as possible if any further complications were to emerge. Signed, Dr. Harris. Red, then green. Yellow, then red. <laughs> that just looks awesome. That, however, does not look awesome. All right, so it wasn't left to right. It was whichever one was on the higher pedestal. I have a feeling this is going to be the last door. As long as I have red, right? 
long as I have red, I can burn them. I can burn this down. Jesus, William. How can you even suggest something like this? Margaret, please. Just take the damn thing. You're mad if you think I will. This is not your decision to make. I am keeping her. Can't you see? I'm doing this for you. Let go of me! You heard what the doctor said. I didn't spend countless nights researching, testing, and improving the formula, making sure it's safe for you, is to throw it out the window at the end of it all. All this time and effort, and you still can't put your paranoia aside and have a little faith in your husband to drink this bloody potion. She's, she said she... She... Alright, fine, I guess. I I mean William kinda fucking deserved it. Where am I even running to? Oh, you cheater. Oh, I guess I'm running over there. It's going to close on me, innit? Nope. Is this? Honestly, he fucking deserves it. Just. I I don't know. I, like I had a feeling that's where this was going when I read about the ancient abortion what what whatever the fuck that was supposed to be and just I don't know. I, I think I wanted it to be more, oh, he's dead. Is it like one of them died due to, you know, birth complications? He's trying to bring her back. No, it, it was worse than that. Then we got down to the lab and, I, and like, him doing the stuff with the rats and was like, I, like, I... You can't... So, the minor success... I have no idea how he considered that a minor success. Well, 
when it was a very violent murder of what drank the potion. And then a catastrophic failure on the next thing, which died after 26 hours. I, unless, you know, he went, unless there was a lot of detail on how that thing died, which I don't recall. I, I, I could also just be dumb and forget, like, get my, um, got my wires crossed on the descriptions. I'm sure if I w I'm wrong, I'll cut back to that and just repeat it. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was... What was it? What, what, what was the game? That was Don't Remember. <laughs> oh. A game that actually shares a lot of similarities with Detention, now that I think about it. In the, uh... In the amnesia hell development. Did I absolutely let him die immediately after I learned that he forced his wife to have an abortion that she didn't want? Yes. Is the wife a victim? Absolutely. Is he an asshole? Absolutely. Does he deserve this? Absolutely. You don't just force shit on people like this. Especially when how many of your fucking tests resulted in the death of the... He was at rat number five. He only had ten rats. And a few chimpanzees. What was the point of the chimpanzees, right... Like, did did he actually test for on those? Or no? Probably not. Motherfucker. I'm so mad about this, actually. Well, that's all the time we have today. I hope you appreciated it. Uh, thank you for your time. And please, please, please respect other people's choices. Even if you don't agree with it, it's not yours to make. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed yourself, please like and subscribe.